How's it going lads? Welcome back to a brand new I Rate Your Teams episode. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. We're jumping straight into it today, we've got Archie's team, he says, Hi HABER, this is my team, first pick's how I start, second pick is in game. I've got 80,000 coins for upgrades and I'm willing to save, but I'd rather not to do icon swaps. I say I'd rather not do icon swaps as I just can't be bothered. Love the vids, keep it the good work. I uh, hope you love your new house. I do, man. It's great. Yes, I've been seeing the comments. All right. I have my my laundry. It's just chilling there in, in the bottom corner. That will be moved eventually. It's been a very uh, busy moving period. I promise you I've not been lazy. It's just how it is. Anyway, let's look at the team. All right. Um, Twitter doing its best to... to show blurry images in fact i saw okay no that one's all right okay twitter just doing its best to show blurry images today um it's actually a solid team to be fair i don't know about Shaw playing as a center mid though not fast enough in my opinion uh and having bernard won't make up for the lack of pace in, in both your uh, cdm and center back uh how do you start i would say replace your fabinho here let me double check how many coins you got Eighty thousand coins for upgrades i'm trying to think of a fast uh center mid shark can become your cdm and then for 80k you want a premier league center mid uh, and he's got to be quite pacey because in the 4 one 2 narrow you need pacey midfielders uh it's quite essential in that formation um so we'll go for it so 1000 coins and then eighty thousand coins uh what we're we looking at here four midfielders that are fairly fast um indeed he's not bad He's only got a 75 pace, but it's not the worst. Why now has got 79 pace, and with a chem style, like, for example, uh, an anchor, he'll have 84 pace. That's decent. Um, they're both not bad choices, to be fair, and I'd probably look at both of those before I look anywhere else, to be honest. I think Wijnaldum's definitely a, a great box-to-box -box here for about 74k or 65k on Xbox, so I would definitely go with uh, with that Wijnaldum card if you really don't want to do icon swaps. Next one coming from Mello, who says, Love your content on Tradables are right into Stegen. Got right from the Prime Icon Pack, and I've got 220k for upgrades, but I can save up. All right, bro. Uh, GG on right, I guess. It's not great, is it, really? Um, not bad, but not great, you know. Uh, looking at this team, 4-2-3-1. Uh, it's pretty solid, and you play a 4 2 in game. It's pretty solid. Um, now, with uh, 220,000 coins, I would say you could do the brand new SBC for left back. Uh, if you guys didn't know, um, Jordan Amavi got an SBC card. Now, if you've got any 85s or 84s in the club, this it'll make it a lot cheaper. He's 110k at the, 112k at the minute. Uh, but if you've got some 84s and 85s in the club, you'll make it considerably cheaper. He's 5-star, five 5-star. Five star, has a really nice card, in my opinion. Uh, and given that you've got a French CDM and French centre-back, it worked perfectly and slot perfectly into this team. Uh, so that could be a pretty decent upgrade straight away. I'd also say if you've got the time and you want to do more icon swaps, Go get yourself Kaka for Ben Yedda, probably. Or no, play Ben Yedda striker. Maybe Kaka for Griezmann. Um, then you got uh, you got Kaka and Odegaard as your two cams. That would work pretty well as well. Uh, but the team's solid. I think next next upgrade, though, try and get that Ben Yedda upgraded to a better player. Maybe a better French cam. And then once you've done that, uh, maybe just work on, on your CDMs. Uh, but the rest of the team's pretty solid. Uh, <laughs> this one's upside down. <laughs> Oh, um, so hey, but I've got 10,000 coins in the bank. Uh, everyone's untradeable in the club. Did the mid icon uh, pack yesterday and legit only wanted Butra, and I got him. Well, fair enough, bro. That's sick. Uh, thinking of getting a loud drop in icon swaps to replace Pepe as well. Keep the good work. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate it, dude. What is it with Twitter destroying the quality right now of, of like every photo? Loud drop's a good option though to replace Pepe. Uh, I think he's definitely a decent, a decent shout. You could also go with Overmars. Um, I'm pretty sure Overmars is pretty cheap in terms of tokens, and he could also be a decent one you get. Uh, play him on on seven or eight chemistry. Um, he'd be on seven, I think, the same as same as uh, Loudre. But I think that both of them would be pretty decent options over there at that uh, that right mid spot for Pepe. Um, the only problem is Overmars has only got three star skills, whereas Loudre's got four star. So it's it's whichever one you prefer there. But the team's actually really nice now. Uh, you've got 10k in the bank, so I'm not going to sit there and recommend you anyone to upgrade to. But I think that weak spots in this team, potentially uh, maybe getting a better centre-back, maybe getting yourself a, a better right CDM as well. Because um, the rest of the team obviously is just icons and stuff like that. So the rest of the team is incredible. I'd say maybe those those are the places you want to upgrade. Uh, next team coming from uh, Trulsendal, who's uh, in the streams a lot. By the way, guys, I did say uh, in the last, uh, the last episode, the one before that, if you just absolutely spam... 
I will be muting you guys from now on. Uh, so for, from now on, if I was to refresh, I won't see this guy's tweets anymore. Uh, so this is the last time you can enter the series. I said I said this in two episodes running that if you if you spam it in like a ten minute period, that's three or four times. I, I apologize, I'm making an example out of some one person, but please don't spam, or I will be muting you, so you won't be able to take part in any series again. Anyway, Tristan Dolls team, who's always in the streams, massively appreciate you, dude. Uh, says first picks how I start, and the second ones how I play in game. I've got two point four million coins for an upgrade. What should I upgrade next? By the way, everything's untradeable, but moments SIE and moments Cannavaro. Love you, dude. Peace. Hey, appreciate the support, man. Uh, solid team. What I would say with this team is, um, hmm, it's a tough one actually. I don't actually rate moments SIE as a CDM. I think this guy is built like a center back and doesn't have the agility or balance or the passing stats of a cdm so what i would say is uh i would probably get rid of that desai for a better cdm all round uh and thinking of different cdms obviously he's 1.1 he's million coins uh you can go for the likes of petit i want to quickly check how much patrick vieira is as well um obviously not his 92 it's just so i can see the other versions uh his baby cards a million coins and that could be a pretty decent cdm card sadly his middle is uh is how much is the middle 1.8 yeah you can't really afford his middle um oh you got 2.4 million coins never mind I'm, I'm i i totally forgot that you had a lot of coins uh yeah go for middle desai or if you want to really stretch to the prime desai uh, uh not prime desai prime vieri you can um if you sell that desai uh, maybe get Prime Vieira over him because that Vieira is just unreal this year. He's absolutely incredible this year. Absolutely love him. Uh, one of my favorite players. I'd also maybe look to improve that um, that Zanetti. And I think you can do that with either Baby or Prime SIE as a center back. Um, because in my opinion, I mean, you do play you play him out wide, actually. Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. You What you could do, you could potentially look to get yourself... Uh, uh, you know, a baby Carlos Alberto and swap him with Ramos so they get full cam. But apart from that, I mean, the team's solid, to be honest, mate. Uh, it really is a good team. Next up is John's team. He says, uh, 4 2 3 one in game. I take Kent on the right uh, away. I take, sorry. I take Kent on right away for the next batch of swap tokens to get Lippmann in. Uh, and I've got 80,000 coins. Ramos and Mendy are tradable. Everyone else is untradable. So it's a nice team. Twitter's on one today. Twitter DMs have been broken all day. Uh, Twitter is destroying the quality of like every photo. So I do apologize for some reason Twitter is uh, is doing this and uh, I don't know why. Um, this is a nice team. I like the use of the uh, the play moments cards um, or the, not the play moments cards, what are they called? The uh, league moments, the league upgrades. I forget what they're called actually. Uh, I like the uh, the use of those. What I would say is focus on trying to get yourself Van Dyke as your right center back. Obviously it's going to take you a little bit of time to save up. Um, but I wouldn't move too far of the rest of the squad because the rest of the squad is really solid. Uh, next one coming from Alex says play a 4 2 3 1 in game. Adama, Ram, Sane, Lamb, James Stryker. All untradables apart from Layman. I've got 800k to spend and I've already chosen Prime Icon Pack from swaps. They got gigs who are submitted into Sane. That's fair enough. Um, yeah, that's that's fair enough. Sorry, I just had to go answer the door. Um, so I forgot exactly how I left off, but very interesting team. Uh, what I would say with this team is. Rykard is definitely a weak link. I would work on upgrading Rykard with 800,000 coins in the bank. Um, I'd go with probably Petit. Uh, now, I didn't used to recommend Petit as much as I do at the minute, but I've actually been using the mid Petit because I've got him in a mid icon pack, and this is actually a really good card. I don't know how much his prime, 913. If you can stretch to his prime, I probably would, but the mid card is really good. What I use, I use uh, Engine on him, uh, which gives him these stats in game, and he feels really good in game. I play him next to Kante, and I really enjoy him. You might enjoy him too, so I would say uh, probably upgrade your Rykard to Petit. Next team is coming from Josh, who says everyone but Debravka is untradeable, and I've got 150k coins. Keep the good work. Thank you, man. Appreciate it, dude. <laughs> Once again, Twitter. What are you doing to me, mate? Um, they've had a mare today. So what I would say with this team is probably trying to upgrade normal Royce. Um, obviously, you've only got 150k at the minute, but I would just wait to see if we get a new foot birthday SBC. And if we don't, save up towards getting the foot birthday Havertz. I know it's a long time away, um, but it will be a massive improvement to the squad. Next one coming from Tobin, who says I've got I have now 87 hour warrants at a Sadorf, and I've got 300,000 coins. Only Mendy is tradable. That's fair enough. Uh, it's actually a really, really good team as well. Uh, you guys have been submitting some really good teams today. What I would say is uh, probably get rid of Komen here. Um, I think Mendy's good enough to play centre mid. 
So what I would do here is I would get rid of Komen and then play someone at centre back that you'd prefer to use because Komen and 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 Roy Keane I think is a midfield. Uh, I don't think it'd work very well. I think they cancel each other out. So I I think unless you want to maybe play Komen as a CDM and and Roy Keane as a centre back or something like that. Um, and then you, I mean you could play you could play what you could do you could play Ramos out wide. Uh, Mendy the centre mid, and then you could place it Komen or Roy Keane as the right centre back. I just don't think that they've both got the the stats for a CDM and centre mid together. I think they cancel each other out. One thing I found with the four one two on two narrow is you need someone that's super quick, super strong, really good at dribbling and passing as your box to box playmaker. Um, next one from Alex Witt says I got forty thousand coins for improvements. Everyone at tradable except for Delit, uh, Manlos, and Buffon. Play a 4 2 3 1 in game, keep the good work, love the bits. I thank you, dude. I appreciate it, man. I see you got that Thor's, but it's a good card. I would say try and upgrade your right back. Mm, you got Tovan, actually. I see why you've got him. Never mind. I was going to say try and get Hathbois, but uh, you've got you've got Tovan. Totally understand why. I would say from icon swaps, get yourself louder up for De Bruyne. Gets full chemistry on everyone, and it's a, a big improvement to the squad. Then maybe go and get yourself a uh, better left back as well. Um, I don't know if anyone that will link, but maybe get yourself Alexandro and play uh, your left mid off Kem possibly. Uh, solid team though. The rest of the team is really nice. Next one coming from Joshua. Says I've got 260k. All SPC cards are untradeable. Can save uh, 4 and 2 and 2 narrow in game. Silver Cam, Mbappe, Striker, Kante, CDM will save for expensive cards. Okay. I would say... You don't have a weak link in this squad at all. This squad is, is is fantastic. Just wait until team of the season now, to be honest, mate. I wouldn't I wouldn't change anything in this squad. Maybe save up to get yourself messy at right. Maybe that's about it. Like I wouldn't change a whole lot in this squad. You you know, we've got team of the season in, in, in about four, three, four weeks' time, maybe a little bit longer. Uh and I would say um just wait for that, I guess, to to make more improvements to the squad, because this squad is is a fantastic squad. Uh, the next one coming from Josh Smith, who says, Hey Ryan, I have 380k for upgrades and tradables are SPC cards and icons. I replaced Kaka with Foot Birthday Urzel. Second pick is what I play in game. Louis you with the great work. Well, I appreciate it, man. Well, you're annoying me today. I would say, uh, with this squad, I mean, you're playing Urzel off chem. Um, It's not bad. Again, you could go with, you could go with a brand new Foot Birthday and Marvie at left back. Um... But this is another one I'd say just wait wait until team of the season, to be honest. I think with a lot of squads, if your squads are looking very similar, like, for example, this squad or, or some of the squads above, wait until team of the season before resubmitting your squad into the irate your teams because there's not a whole lot of upgrades that can be made in this current stage of FIFA unless you have in the millions, really. Um, or unless you've just been saving coins and have, like, lower rated players. Like, for example, uh, you know, if you've just got, like, a normal Allen and a normal Ericsson, then you can make upgrades. But until then... Um, it's difficult, really. Anyway, the next one from Jesper, who says, Untradables are Tierney, Allen, Politano, Trossard, Thorsby, and Zambrotta. I've got 200k for upgrades. I've got Cliver in the Prime Icon pack, considering either Kaka, Maldini, Gattuso, or Laudrup with the remaining tokens thoughts. Well, looking at this team, I would say, um, get yourself Laudrup instead of Ericsson as your uh, next token, then. Uh, then you can play uh, Laudrup as your central cam. That's who I would go for in this team. Uh, and then just work on get yourself better backline, really. Uh, maybe get yourself Ramos, Red Air, Militao when you can. Um, the rest of the team's solid, though. Definitely is a really nice team. Uh, next one coming from Carlo says, First off, I start... Uh, if I, if I can't speak today. <laughs> Sorry. First is how I start, and the second is in-game. I've got 60,000 coins, and everyone's untradeable except for Havertz. Uh, I'm going for Lampard and Icon Swaps because I'm a Chelsea fan. Keep it the great work, load the vids. Appreciate it, dude. Yeah, I can see why you go with with Lampard, to be honest. Um, it's actually a really nice team. You're the first person I've seen use that Charlie Musonda as well. Uh, it's definitely interesting. I would say with this team, not a whole lot of change. I mean, Opara looks like the best centre-back in the entire game. Charlie Musonda looks pretty OP. Uh, you know, you could try and save up to get yourself uh, foot birthday Havertz. Uh, or Havertz, I don't know how you say the name properly. Um, but apart from that, I mean, the team is really, really solid. That is something I want. That, that's the next step for me is getting that Opara and fitting him in the squad. That is definitely the next step for me. Um, that team is is really, really nice though. Uh, the next one coming from Giggs. I really hope this is for yeah, it's for separate photos. He says uh, I've got Vieira in the prime icon pack. That is incredible. First is what I start with, and second is in game. I've got uh, 50k. Everyone's untradeable, but McGinn, Mares, and Trent. Uh, I may get squad three and squad four. Uh, what do you think I should do next? 
Well, I mean, Vieira in the Prime Icon Pack is absolutely incredible. Fair play. Uh, that's a nice setup as well. I love the uh, the four and two on two narrow. The four triple two is pretty solid as well. Um, I would go for I would go for squad four though. Out of all those, squad four looks really really solid. And then maybe try and upgrade your Trent at some point for if we get like a foot birthday Pogba, that could be uh, you know ideal. Um, or or just waiting for a really solid midfield. But mate, squad squad four is is really op. And uh, GG on the prime icon Vieira. It's actually incredible. Uh, the next one coming from Nito. Who says I've got 205k? Everyone in tradable, Chelsea fan, got Drogba and Lampard from swaps. Fair enough. Don't know where to improve next. Um interesting. Well, I would say. Hmm. I can see you're a Chelsea fan, to be fair. I would say uh that Lucas Moore is solid. Um, you could go. It's a shame you didn't do flashback Aspelaqueta. It'd be a perfect uh right centre back for you. Again, this is one I'd just wait for team of the season, to be honest. Uh, I don't want to say... I mean, you could go get the prime icon pack from swaps with your remaining tokens after the next season. Um, but realistically, it's another one where you just got to wait for team of the season to upgrade your squad, really. Uh, the next one coming from Anton, who says, I've got 500k and the only tradable is Neymar. Keep the good work. Love the vids. Thanks, Anton. Uh, okay, so 500,000 coins. Again, another one. Team of the season, you know... Is the only time you're really going to upgrade this team. Maybe if you're bored, try and do maybe try and grind out a mid icon pack. Maybe go for the prime icon pack in swaps, um, whichever one you prefer, really. Uh, but apart from that, yeah, t you're not really going to improve this team until team of, the team of the season. To be to be honest with you, it's a solid team. It really is. Um, next one coming from AR Flares, who says, "Hi, currently have 100k and did the prime icon pack for Makaleli. I don't think that's bad to be fair. It's pretty good. I play a 4-2-3-1 in game with Valverde at Cam. All uh, untradeable except for Mane and Militao. Any improvements? Thanks. Uh, it's a solid team. Don't know about Valverde at Cam though. I really don't. I don't. I don't think that's a good shout to be honest. I would say uh, instead of doing that, hmm, what could you do instead? Uh." What could you do instead? I'm I'm looking at your bench right now. You could maybe you could maybe uh start um David Villa somehow. Uh I dunno, just just Valverde at Cam doesn't seem right to me. Just doesn't seem like he play what are his stats like? I'm pretty sure he's a, a very defensive uh defensive minded future stars, is he not? I mean, he's pretty well rounded. I guess he would work at Cam. Yeah, 91 rated cam in game. With the right chem style, it'd probably be uh, higher rated as well. Yeah, I understand that, actually. I do understand that, to be fair. I take that back. Again, don't see an improvement until team of the season. I know this might sound like... It might seem boring for a lot of you guys, because I'm like, oh, you know, you can't improve your team to team of the season. Don't worry. I totally understand for a lot of you guys that you don't actually care about my advice. You just want either want to see new teams or you just want to flex your own squad. And I totally get that. And I still appreciate you watching the videos regardless. Um, right now, we're in that, that period of FIFA where it's hard to improve until team of the season. So I'm going to keep directing you guys until team of the season. And we're going to have some big episodes then. And I'm looking forward to that. Uh, but until then, if you've got enough to get foot birthdays, I will recommend them. The next one coming from The Potato. Uh, that was my nickname in high school. Uh, hi, hey, this is my team. I'm looking to get more Gattuso and the obvious are untradeable. I'm also going to do the Prime Icon pack. Wish me luck. I wouldn't mind a Pele. The second image is what I get in game. Uh, any improvements, keep the good work. Well, good luck in your Prime Icon pack. Hopefully you do get a Pele. Uh, this is a really, really nice team. This is actually incredible, to be fair. Uh, would, I, would I improve anything? No, I really wouldn't, to be honest. This team is fantastic. I mean, you can maybe improve Madison. That's about it. And, you know, maybe with the Prime Icon Pack, you already get someone that could improve Madison. So let me know what you get in the Prime Icon Pack, dude. And uh, and I'll help you out with your team when you uh, when you, when you you do that, I guess. Uh, we're going to do the last ep last uh, team for this episode. is going to be from Josh Henderson. He says, tradables are Juan Jesus and Tellez. Play the 4 2 in game. Got 10k since I'm doing the mid-icon pack. And I got Van der Sar in the Prime Icon Pack. Oof, ouch. That's painful. Um, well, I like, I like how you're getting Kent on cam. Don't know about Hudson Adoy over here. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that. I just called him Hudson Adoy. What's that, what's that guy's name? It's Tamori and uh, Loftus Cheek. I knew it was Double Barrel. I, just couldn't, I couldn't remember his name. It's Loftus Cheek, not Hudson Adoy. Um, yeah, don't know about that. Uh, obviously, you, you, you change him in game, and uh, that's fair enough. Um, the team is solid. Don't get me wrong. The team is very nice. I would say, would I say there are any gripes with the team? I would say maybe get yourself the. Uh, Try and just just save up and and piece by piece do the Alexandro left back card, 
um, over Tellez. Uh, apart from that, I mean, the team is solid, to be honest. And obviously, hopefully Kent gets more upgrades and it'll be even better cam for you. But yeah, it's a, it's a really, really nice team, to be fair. That's it for this episode. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you lads later.